Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kudash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. And um, we're all about to be tested, okay? Which I was listening to a video that was done uh, earlier by the elder Ayatun, and uh, he was going into the <clears throat> assembly bill the new york assembly bill a416 and how you know um if passed or when really they would you know pretty much you could watch the video i'll put the link in the description and you can um it was a good video and so you know i went on the site i went and looked at it when when you actually go to the site they put the status of the bill as stricken right because they uh, I did see an article that came out about a day or two ago where the sponsor, the, I believe his name was Perry or something like that, pretty much withdrew, you know, and so the, the bill, basically they they struck the bill and um, until a new sponsor or somebody, you know, else comes and then they change the, the name, you know, pretty much give it a new name and then they push it through again. For now, they have the status as that. So we have to see, you know, watch and see what they're going to do come January uh, 5th, January 6th. But one thing that I did find interesting was that this time around with um, numbers surging, right? And there's some that they're saying is highest on record, right? There's some they're saying they've they haven't seen this since last January or so on and so forth. And so... You know, we're looking at it, and if if this if this is highest on record, it's like everybody put a, a halt. And in um, in, uh, in England, right in the UK, they said, you know, oh, it's going up, it's going up, it's getting bad. And then all of a sudden, they said, yeah, we're not going to announce any further restrictions this year. Right, we're not going to announce any further restrictions before the new year. And then over here too, they oh, whoa, it's going up, it's going up, but we're not going to do another lockdown. And um, also, they mentioned how the numbers, the data they have now is is not 100 percent because there's uh, uh, it's been like a Christmas like backlog, so to speak. So it isn't until pretty much post Christmas that they're going to get the full, uh, I guess you could say the full record of the cases and the numbers. Right. So people moving around, you know, getting together for Christmas, getting together for New Year. Now. You know, whether they take that and say, wow, look at this, look at all this data and use it as justification to, you know, push another bill like that or whatnot. The point is they're going to they're going to push this bill and and it's not going to be just in New York. It's going to spread all throughout because even when this when this whole situation started, New York was one of the, the main places. Right. <clears throat> and. um now, this individual from the article that came out from the headline, they said he basically said that there were too many uh, conspiracy theories about what was going on and so on and so forth. So yeah, he, he, he just dropped it. Now, that doesn't make any sense <laughs> because the, the the plans of these elites. Well, if that was the case, then they, they wouldn't they wouldn't try to implement the MOTB. Right. If that was the case, they stop everything they're doing right now and say, well, all right, leave it at that. Too many people catching on. Let's go back to our regular lives. Right. So he can try that again because that's not fooling anybody. Um, and often that's what they do. They, they'll, they'll make it on the outward. They'll make it seem as though they dropped it. But then they, they really secretly slide it and pass it under another name or slip it as an addition to a different kind of um, package or a different bill. So, um, like I said, we're all about to be tested because going into 2022 a lot. All right. A lot can happen in 2022. OK, from the from the jump all the way down, because when you look at the direction in which things are going, we know that in the future, things are only going to get worse than they are now. And they've been warning about that, about inflation, about the shortages, about the supply chain, about everything that's going on that we started seeing now. Basically, they're warning of it getting worse then. And one key thing about the bill is that it didn't mention um, it, those that have been jabbed being exempt, it only mentioned, it, it generalized it in the sense of 
people that are deemed a health threat. So you got to think about that because people that have taken the Vanessa have still, you know, they tell you that it's not going to prevent you from uh, getting the wiki Vicky, right? So here it is. You, you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you take, you take both Vanessa's and the BV, right? And then you end up, you know, they, they catch your ass and it might even be a false positive, but no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Next thing you know, they throw your ass in one of them, them areas. And now look at you. <laughs> right. So this is the book of Revelation. I'm going to start here with the book of Revelation chapter three, verse 11, because we've been saying this over and over and over again. But when it actually starts to happen, it's going to be hard, even for people that know this truth and claim to believe in this truth. They, let me just read it. Revelation chapter three, verse 11. And I'm going to come back to Revelation, the third chapter to read a 10th verse. But right now I want to start with the 11th verse. And it says, behold, I come quickly. And this is the Yahushai. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. So hold that fast, meaning tight, fasten. Okay, hold it tightly so you don't lose it. So nobody takes it. It says, which thou hast. So what is it that we have? We have the faith and this truth and this knowledge. And that encompasses a lot of things. Now it says, hold that fast which thou hast, right? Now, why would the Lord have to tell us that? Because that no man take that crown. The wiles of this devil, the, the things he's going to come with, the hard times that are going to come is going to shake people up. And you're going to have people that may be holding on to their faith. But upon seeing these things, upon being tested and being tried, they're going to let go. They're going to drop their faith. Imagine faith, you know, yeah, here, here, here I come again with my what? My analogies and my examples, right? <laughs> right. But imagine faith being like um like a like a urn, you know, something that, that can break if you if you let go of it. You know, you have to hold it tightly. Okay. Now you're gonna have certain individuals that when they see that heat, they're gonna because in order to turn around while protecting that urn of faith and run is much harder than to just let go of it and then try to run, right? So when they see that 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 hell coming, some of them ain't even they're gonna completely forget and just let go. And just like that, the 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 vase or what the urn is gonna just hit the ground and break, and there goes their faith. All right, and that and they're gonna that's it, that's it for them. Once you lose that, you're gone, you're done. So the Lord said, Hold that fast which thou hast. You have it now, but it's more than just acquiring it, you need to hold on to it, you need to keep it. OK, because the Lord said he comes quickly. So we're all about to get tested. When it gets to the point where if you're caught outside and they stop you, it, they, they're not going to give you a ticket. They're not going to tell you go inside. They're going to take your ass from wherever you at. So here it is. You, you know, you leave your house thinking, oh, I'm just going to go to the store real quick. And then they stop you at the store. And then you never come back. And the people at home wondering, yo, what happened to such and such? But here you are hauled off to uh, some facility somewhere because they stopped you and they, they checked you and they found out that you, mm -mm, you know, and now boom, here you are. So it gets to the point where now, well, it's, it's hard to leave your house, right? It's hard to go from one place to another. If you step out, if, whether it's for a quick run to get stuff, you have to be super cautious and hope that you don't get stopped on the way because then there's a chance that you don't you don't make it back because they just take you off right there and there when they set these curfews in place and they catch you at, oh man these things are coming the police state the marshal all these things are coming and they're gonna happen so fast people are not gonna have time to prepare for these things and it's gonna it's gonna test you you're home you can't go to work if you're the one who bring, you know, who pays the bills and stuff, now what? Because if if you don't pay the bills and you go homeless, you're on the street. If you're on the street, then they're gonna take your ass. <laughs> you know, so now people are people are in that, you know, they 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 stuck. But you you need to have faith. You gotta just do what you gotta do and let the Lord control it from there. 
Because if what you're doing is something the Lord says, no, I don't want you to do that, he'll stop you. Okay, you don't got to worry about, he'll stop you and let it be known. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so another reason why we are to hold fast that which we have, Revelation 2. So, so now imagine, right back to the example, if you are holding on to this urn and you know, you're, you're walking or you're standing somewhere. It's, 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 it's much easier to hold it. There's nothing really uh, causing you or causing it to fall. Right. But now say you're on a roller coaster, say you're in a car and, and the road is messed up and the car is just shaking everywhere, all bumpy and shit. You know, say you have to run super fast. You know, these things are things that are, that are provoking, right? These, these are things that create opportunities for you to slip. And when you're running, you could slip and trip and drop the joint. On a roller coaster, they could just fly off your hands. In a car that's, you know, shaking, bumping because of the bumpy road, this thing could fly into the front seat, into the back seat, out the window. So these are situations that force you to make sure you, you got a tight, you got a tight grip on it. Okay? So even if you trip, you could, you know, you, you turn yourself in a way where it doesn't fall and break. All right? So that's going to be the calamities, the, the hard times, the trying times that are going to be situations that try to provoke us to drop our faith, us to lose that faith. Right. So this is Jeremiah chapter 30, verse seven. It says, alas, for that day is great so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So he shall be saved out of it. Now, when when. When you use the word out, that implies there's an in. There's no out without there being an in, because what are you coming out of? You're coming out of whatever you were in, right? So if it says he shall be saved out of it, well, let's think about it. What is that it? Jacob's trouble. So if he's saved out of Jacob's trouble, wouldn't that mean that he was in Jacob's trouble? So that implies that when this hell breaks loose, guess what? Where do you think we're going to be at? We're going to be right here. We're going to witness these things. We're going to be affected by these things. However, it's not going to affect us onto destruction. Even those that have to be martyrs for the Lord, the Lord is going to do it in a way where they can go through it. Okay? So as it says, he shall be saved out of it. So we're going to be in Jacob's trouble. Guess what? If there's martial law and they're coming after people, well, we're going to be here. However, they, they are going to come after us just like everybody else. But the difference is when they come after us, the Lord will deliver us. But when they come after everybody else, they're going to get got. There are going to be food shortages and there's going to be barely any food for anybody, us and them. But the difference is, though we're all in it, the Lord is going to feed us as opposed to starving them out. Right? They are going to be pestilences and diseases that they're going to be liable to and so are we. But when it comes to us, the Lord is going to protect us and he's not going to protect them. So that's what it means that we're going to be saved out of it because we're going to be in it. It's going to affect us, but the Lord is going to deliver us from that effect. Ultimately, up until the time of the destruction. All right. And that's why we got to hold fast that which we have, because once you lose that, you, you lose your ticket. <clears throat> All right. This is Revelation chapter three, verse 10. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. And that that's also an example of holding fast that, that which thou hast, because what's a part of what we have? The word. So keeping the word of the Lord's patience also goes into holding fast that which you have. Especially now. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. We're all about to be tested. Yahweh Bashem Shai is about to say, yo, I want to see what you're made of. Every single one of you. And some worse than others in the sense that, you know, your, your trials may be harder than others. <clears throat> okay. Some the Lord might just say, look, I, I ain't even going, you know, because I already, I, I don't know. I just, I already know. And some he's going to say, no, nah, I'm going to put you in the hottest parts. That's all up to the Lord. Okay. So as it says, it's going to try them that dwell upon the whole earth. And ultimately that trying that the hottest part of the fire is going to be when that, 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 that Karagma comes out. Okay. When that Karagma comes out, 
and they're they're pushing it <clears throat> like how they're they're pushing this thing right now and even worse that's going to be the hottest part of the fire and at that point that's is 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 you know all out you know you go hard or you go home and by home i mean eat a missile so <laughs> you know you you better go hard okay you better go hard um <clears throat> the next one i had here is also in the book of revelation chapter 2 verse 10 it says fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer behold the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried. So why why would some of us be cast there to what? To be tried. But that's when you have to remember Acts 12, when the angel delivered Peter. You know, when the angel, uh, the Lord caused the earthquake to open the the, the the gates for Paul and Silas. And yet they, you know, they, they, they decided to stay in there. You know, all the various things the Lord has done for us. Delivering Daniel from the lion's den. I mean, how, how would Daniel have escaped that? How would he have possibly have escaped that? Right? But yet he was delivered. So we're going to be tried, but in our trying, we are to remember Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. So we are to remember those things. <clears throat> it says, um, and ye shall have tribulation 10 days, be, which can be really any amount of time. Be thou faithful unto death. And I will give thee a crown of life. So if you have to die in, in that facility or concentration camp, or wherever they take you, be faithful to the Lord until death. Don't be disappointed because you you may be expected to expected the Lord to, you know, break you out. But then he did it. And then you have to now face the penalty of death in there, because then you need to understand that that's the will of the Lord. OK, and that's the path that you have to go. So if it is, then you just you just got to go. You just got to take that take that route. And what and what did he say? I will give thee a crown of life. So however you you earn your crown of life, whether it's by being a martyr or by, you know, enduring, going through Jacob's trouble and just stay, like Paul said, being alive unto the coming of the Lord. Whatever, whichever path the Lord chooses for you, if you fulfill it, guess what? You still gonna get that crown of life. But you have to hold fast that which you have. See, Revelation two and ten is gonna be something that causes people to drop their faith. Revelation 3 and 10, the trying, the trying part is going to cause people to drop their faith. All right. Right now, people are already dropping it over things like jobs and not being able to go out <coughs> and do certain things. But when it comes time to where you 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 can't go out, not because you're going to be denied entry, but if you get caught, they're going to take your ass to somewhere you don't even know. What level of trying do you think that's going to be? And if people are breaking now, what do you think they're going to do then? So it's only, look, man, it's only going to turn up. The Most High is going to turn it up more and more and more. And you better have tough skin. All right. This is, um. lastly, I have here the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 38. It says, now the just shall live by faith. You hear that? The just shall live by faith. Every decision, every thought, everything we do is going to be based on faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back onto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. You hear that? Them that believe to the saving of the soul. And how are you going to, how do you show you believe you or you hold fast that which you have and let no man take your crown no matter what. Okay. So whatever, whatever is put before us, <clears throat> remember the Lord put it before us and the Lord can take it away from us just as easily. We just have to, it's all a test. All right. The Lord wasn't actually going to have Abraham put Isaac to death, but had Abraham known that, then it wouldn't have been a test. <laughs> okay. Okay. The Lord wasn't going to actually have the three holy children burn in the furnace. But if they had known that, then there wouldn't have been a test. The Lord wasn't actually going to have Daniel die in that lion's den. But if he had known that, then it wouldn't have been a test. Now, though they, they, they went, you know, straight up, they had the mindset of, well, peradventure, the Lord will deliver me because I have faith in him. But if he doesn't, then he doesn't. So it was all the test. These these tests 
they feel like they're real because they have to in order for them to be a, a good test. See? So whatever we're going to go through is all to test us, is to try us. And something and, and hey, the Lord might just say, no, that's I'm not going to actually have it happen to you, but I need I need you to feel as though that's that's exactly what's going to happen. And I need to know what mindset, what well, how do you react in a situation like that? Do you keep the mindset of maintaining your trust in him though he slay you? Or do you say, oh hell no, he actually gonna kill me? Nah, I ain't with the shit. That is only gonna show if you actually feel that way. Alright, so we're all gonna be tested and we're all gonna be tried. Alright, but hey, as the scriptures say, the elect. Okay, the elect are gonna gain the victory. So you wanna know if you wanna the elect? Or well, the test is coming. Then shall they be known who am I chosen? So with that, I hope you were edified. In closing, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakha Kodash. Until next time, Shalom.